I get this question all the time from religionists. Isn't atheism a religion as well? Well, aside from the cute responses like, if atheism or religion, then bald is hair color, it's really difficult for religionists to imagine no religion. It's like they think humans cannot live without religion. So whatever they espouse must be a religion. Here's the way I've taken to explaining it lately. Atheists have no imaginary friends, and religionists do. It's that simple. We live without the need for an invisible being. Someone invading our mind and thoughts and censoring us and making us do crazy things like pray to imaginary beings. Fear the imaginary being. Listen to hours of sermons from people who think they can communicate with the imaginary being. How is it a religion when we simply don't have imaginary friends? In most pre-modern cultures, people had imaginary friends. Modern people look upon Amazonian tribes with imaginary tree or animal friends, North American natives with animal and sky friends, and they think it's kind of quaint, if not a bit delusional. It seems crazy by modern standards to pray to a cloud god for rain or to the buffalo to provide meat. Yet religionists pray to their gods for all sorts of favors. What's the difference? So to sum it up, Atheists don't have imaginary friends. Religionists do. How can it be any simpler? Atheists don't care if you have an imaginary friend. That's your right and privilege. What we object to is when you say that your imaginary friend disapproves of us and tries to impose the will of your imaginary friend on us. That tends to irritate us a lot. When your imaginary friend tries to tell us who we can and cannot sleep with, that's a problem. Your imaginary friend tells you that we're going to his hell. We don't take kindly to that kind of thing. Your imaginary friend says women can't have control over their reproduction. That won't get you very far. We would prefer that you keep the things your imaginary friend tells you to yourself. We don't care if you call your friend Allah, God, Jesus, Mary, Shiva, we prefer to have real friends who care about us and can talk and listen to us. You know, atheism isn't really an organizing principle like an imaginary friend can be. We don't have an anti-Santa Claus society to oppose the myth of Santa Claus because the Santa Claus crowd doesn't try to gain political power over those who don't take him seriously. Atheists are activists because we don't like people with imaginary friends trying to take control of the legal system. Most of us follow a more positive value system called secular humanism. While secular humanists live without imaginary friends, they also think it's possible to create an ethical way of living without reference to imaginary friends. Secular humanists are no more a religion than your bowling league is. So get over it. Atheism isn't a religion. It's just a group of people that prefer not to have imaginary friends.